There are three little letters that every single JDM and rally enthusiast knows by heart. S. T.I. Yes. Whether it was the hero of your favorite movie or battling it out against the legendary Lancer Evo, often on the pavement, nobody can deny the unlimited potential and crazy good looks that Subaru introduced to the world in the early 90s. Well, boys and girls, get ready to pour out a monster for the end of an era because Subaru just announced that the WRX STI is over. Today on Blinker Fluid, I will waste less than 10 minutes of your time reminiscing about the highlights and speculating about the future concerning Subaru Technica International. I know what you're thinking. It was my first question too. Why? What the hell is Subaru even thinking? Especially since, well, like, we just got a brand new WRX. I mean, yeah, we weren't exactly kind to it. No one was. But we all had a ton of hope that an STI version would fix all the issues and make the new WRX what we all really want. And instead, Subaru announced that the new WRX would not get an STI variant because, paraphrasing their own words, the electric revolution, it's coming. So they wanna focus on that instead of wasting time on a nice sedan. And what kind of bull poop is that? I mean, we don't get a WRX STI because we only get to enjoy it for a few years. Like, what if that's what we want? And scratch that, that is what we want. WRX sales have steadily increased in the last five years because, well, people want a fun, fast sedan. But no, Subaru said it won't happen, which honestly sucks for two main reasons. First, I don't want the new WRX to be the end of a legacy. The WRX deserves to be redeemed. The plastic pig they released is just not satisfying. You know what I mean? I've driven a lot of Rexies and I love the blob eye and I've spent a lot of time talking about the STI. I mean, just look through our channel history and I want the last WRX to go out in a blaze of glory. I want the fastest, the craziest, most fire spitting burnout machine ever. Instead, we get the decent enough fourth generation VA STI and nothing to make the fifth gen VB WRX shine. And the second reason it sucks, it was kind of the last of a dying breed of high performance rally inspired sedans. I mean, the Focus RS is gone. Mazda Speed has been gone for a long time. The GR Yaris is not available here and may be gone soon as well. And of course, there has been an Evo sized hole in all of our hearts for half a decade now. The STI is joining the Evo in the afterlife and we're not better for it, or maybe we are. You see, here's some crazy foreshadowing for the future. The reason that Subaru is not making an STI version of this WRX generation is because they want to instead focus on the next generation of WRX, which probably won't be a traditional internal combustion car. They already have an electric car coming out in 2023, and it's called the Solterra. And I mean, let's be real, it looks exactly like a Ford, not a Mustang, you know, the electric Mustang. And I'm gonna guess that it performs the same as the Ionic or the ID4 or, you know, any of those vehicles. As far as I can tell, pretty much all EVs except for like the Plaid and the Taycan are the same SUV with different badges on them. What would the STI version of a Solara look like? No matter what, the batteries are gonna make it look chunky boy. I mean, guys, honestly, I don't know if I want Subaru to use the STI badge on some dumb electric car for marketing. It feels a lot like the electric Mustang I uh, mentioned earlier. And yeah, it's a fine vehicle, sure. It's fast, it looks okay for a dumb SUV, but it's really not a Mustang. A Mustang is a V8 pony car with noise and fun, not a quiet family mover. And the STI is the turbocharged four banging monster that inspired generations to learn how to work on cars. The Vape Pen Nation tuner hero with a distinct rumble, not a big RC car. I'm not saying that Subaru couldn't make an amazing race inspired EV. Although looking at their current lineup, <laughs> Maybe I'm saying that? I'm just saying that WRX STI is a moniker with meaning. Maybe Subaru should have the courage to do what other companies for some reason can't and let a nameplate die with grace and dignity. And guys, I know we all love internal combustion engines. I mean, this right here is one of my favorite cars I've ever owned. The fact of the matter is the future is electrified and here in the beautiful state of Washington, we just passed a bill that you're not gonna be able to sell new vehicles in 2030 and beyond that have internal combustion engines, which means the future is electric, whether we like it or not. And so it's actually good that Subaru killed off the WRX and the STI with dignity and grace, because if they didn't, then it would have come back 
as an electrified version. What are your thoughts of electrified versions of internal combustion engine models? Do you like it or do you not? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe down below. I'm Brad Danger, this is Ideal, and go check out this incredible video on the evolution of the NSX that Squid just did. It is straight fire and will get your 101 octane pumping. I've been Brad, and promise me one thing, keep living the Ideal lifestyle.